Click top plane, then select sketch. Create a center line. Then create a sketch of an arc like a heart. Use the add relation between arcs to be tangent. Copy arcs with the mirror command. OK. Set dimensions at 28 millimeters. Add relation becomes equal. Then set the radius at 6 millimeters. Twenty three millimeters high. And forty millimeters. Twenty five millimeters radius. Thirty two millimeters width. Fourteen millimeters radius. OK. Create a circle with a diameter of six millimeters. Three point five millimeters distance. Exit sketch. On the surface toolbar, select split line. OK. Create another sketch profile on the top plane. Then create a sketch of the arc. Copy the arc with the mirror command. OK. Set the radius at 3 millimeters. And 25 millimeters. 2 millimeters high. And 6.5 millimeters. OK. Continue with create the sketch profile on the left, with lines and arcs. Use add relation to be tangent. Set the dimensions at 8.5 millimeters. Seven millimeters. One millimeter. 3.5 millimeters radius. 13 millimeters radius 
2 mm high, 4 mm. Add relation on horizontal. Set radius at 2.5 mm. And the radius is 19 mm. OK. Copy with the mirror command. OK. Exit sketch. Then use the split line command on the sketch profile against the surface area. On the feature toolbar, select Sweep Boss. Then choose a circular profile. Then set the diameter to 2 mm. Click the path. Repeat the Sweep Boss command for each path resulting from the split line. Right click, choose Selection Manager. Sketch a line on the top plane. Use Add Relations. Set the angle at 22.5 degrees, 45 degrees, and 22.5 degrees. Coincident the end of the line against the center line below it. Exit sketch. Then use the split line command and the project curve. Create a 2 mm diameter sweep boss on the split line and project curve earlier. Then copy it with the mirror command to the right plane. OK. Copy it with the circular pattern command on axis 1. Click mirror 6, sweep 16, and sweep 17. OK. Repeat the circular pattern command for the sweep 15, sweep 18, and sweep 21 features. OK.
Create a new plane to sketch the flower profile. It is tilted 45 degrees to the top plane. Create a center line. Then circle. Click for construction. Circle diameter 10 millimeters and 45 millimeters. 0.5 millimeters offset entities by directional. OK. Continue with the trim command. In the feature sketch, select a circular pattern. Click Entities to Pattern. Click the point axis. Uncheck Equal Spacing. Set 30 degrees. Instances at 2. OK. Sketch Arcs. Use Add Relation to be Tangent. Trim Entities. OK. Change to Construction Geometry. Select a circular sketch pattern. Click Entities to Pattern. Click the point axis. Instances at 12. OK. Exit Sketch. Click Plane 1, then select Sketch. Convert Sketch. Create 5 equal arc profiles. and tangent. Set the radius at 3 mm. Create a circle then offset it 2 mm inward. Trim entities by option power trim. Left click and drag. OK. Exit Sketch. Then split the line on the surface. Draw a line profile on Plane 1.
then select the project curve. Repeat for the other curve. Copy surface with 0 mm spacing. OK. Choose thicken. Thickness both sides. Set thickness at 1.2 mm. Uncheck merge result. OK. Fillet at 0.5 mm. Click Axis 1. Then select Circular Pattern. Click the body's fillet 1. Instances at 15. OK. Sweep the boss for the two projected curves. Set diameter at 2 mm. Copy with the mirror command. Then the circular pattern command for the mirror 7 feature. OK. Create a new plane with an inclination of 225 degrees. Flip offset. OK. Sketch the profile on plane 2. Making a link between one flower motif and another flower motif. Offset surface 0 mm. Then thicken at 1.2 mm both sides. Okay. 0.5 mm fillet.
circular pattern on axis 1. Click bodies fillet 2. OK. Combine all solid bodies. Show preview. And OK. Swift Boss 2 mm diameters. OK. Axis 1 then circular pattern. Click sweep 27 feature. OK. See you again in the next video tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks.